So the show is really shot when the red light is off, right? That's the real meat of the show. And it takes a really sophisticated crew to understand that the best shit is gonna happen when you set that camera down. <laughs> For example, I'm landing in LAX, right? My uh, producer, okay, the space is all the negative thoughts I had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me just get added right through that. My producer sitting next to me, we're seat number three. I hear the plane is already leaning down. It's seven minutes from landing LAX. I look back, some piece of shit is running to the cockpit. I say, no, gringos don't mind going down. But I swam to America. It took me 20 days, 19 days. <laughs> so uh, I'm not even going down. Yeah. No one from the Middle East is taking me down, baby. <laughs> so I look back, this piece of shit is running, mouth foaming, eyes all red, foaming to the, uh, running to the cockpit. Pushes the steward, uh, airline stewardess over. Now he's entering first class. Remember, I'm on seat three, three B. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm not gonna worry about it because uh, you know, uh, Marshall is gonna be a marshal in the plane. They told us all that we marshal in the plane. No marshal. So uh, you know how the floor is hollow. Yeah. Now he's next to me. Picks up airline stewardess, size of my wife. Throws her onto the seat. I look back on Gringos because you know Gringos being a little bit emasculated. All Americans. <laughs> Mouth agape, white, frozen. Uh, it's funny that we doctors, we are able to make decisions under emergent situations. We're kind of trained that way. But I look back, everyone paralyzed by fear. So I'm undoing my, my seatbelt. By now the guy who's gone to the cockpit door is rattling the cockpit do uh, door. I jump up. Never seen this before in martial arts fighting. Turns out tries to bite me. Never seen this before. Mm. Hey, I make a long story short. I put him to sleep. Time down. Airplane lands. They rush the airplane to the door. You know, FBI comes in. The little lights, you know, the little red lights on the forehead. <laughs> What's the problem with the story? My producer didn't have his handheld camera with him. Oh, come on. So we have good ratings, but imagine if you got that shit. Me putting the guy to sleep, you know what I'm saying? Uh, these guys here, I find. So the show's gonna be better, do you understand our show? Huge ratings worldwide, 173 countries. But I think already the way they're shooting, they're much, uh, they're, even, they're better spies, they sneak in when you don't think they're there. And they're edgier, their camera work is better. So I say with all the respect, it's gonna be uh, better than the legendary 90210. And uh, so there, it's gonna be, uh, you know, uh, South Africans are gonna love it. So it's the countries, so we looked at the statistics, 173 countries, and the top five countries that had the highest following of our show, 90210, uh, which would be Australia, Brazil, South Africa. What we did is, we picked up the camera and said, you know, just out of respect for that country, out of deference for that country, we're gonna shoot a spin-off deer version. So this is 90210, African version. So it's gonna be African celebrities, South African celebrities, all the pretty girls here. So it familiar, it feels even more familiar to the South Africans. And we do the same in Brazil. It is the same I shoot a show in Australia. And Mexico is the fourth highest audience. I shoot the show in Mexico. So uh, in selecting a doctor, I think it was obvious. Uh, that uh, uh, Dr. Mia, because such a player, I mean, uh, such a great surgeon, <laughs> we felt that it'd be just a perfect match, you know? And um, what is your involvement in terms of you know, the South African version? Are you going to be side by side? And what else are you going to do? You know what? Uh, we're going to be, uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's not like Miami Vice, baby. All over again.